the Super Falcons were on the public bus, and um, a Nigerian um, accosted them, accused them of representing a terrorist government, and representing Buhari for coming to play, uh, representing Nigeria. You can watch this clip for a second. Let's review it together. This organization, a terrorist government. You, you Nigerian, you should be very ashamed of yourselves. Every one of you here should be very, very ashamed of yourself. I will speak to you. You should, you, it, it, this can't happen in another European country that their youth are representing a government. Stay quiet, stay quiet, stay quiet. Stay quiet. A okay, YK. Okay, let me come to Mary and your thoughts on this. <laughs> okay, so first, see, I, I'm of two minds when it comes to this. First, I thought that he assaulted them and embarrass them and embarrass our country. These are people who are, for me, those young ladies are, are representing Nigeria. It's not about the different administrations or what one person feels about it. They are representing their yeah. families, their friends, their culture, the Nigeria that we all believe in. I feel that sporting events, that's what the sporting events are for. And that sometimes we should take the politics out so that we can all enjoy. Because usually it's when we have these sporting events that we put aside all our differences and we celebrate together as one. Now, secondly, the other part that I have is that um, I've seen in America where people take the knee during um, basketball games and all their football games mm. to highlight some of their political issues, yeah. some of social political issues that they are going through. We know about the Black Lives Matter. So I don't know if this man is saying to them, in your sport, if, okay, I think it would have been better if the man says to them, in, your, in doing this, also raise the awareness of what Nigeria is going through. There's so many people being kidnapped and, you know, you know now what we're going through in Nigeria, the insecurity and things like that. If it was a conversation on how do we use our presence here in Europe to highlight some of our issues so that we get international support or international um, recognition for that, that is better. But for this one, he seemed to be castigating them for, for doing something right, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, okay. My own issue apart from everything else, mm. is why do our government people like to undermine us as Africans, as Nigerians? Why must they be inside the public transport, number one? Mm. Ah. Ah. Why? Why can they not rent bus? What is in it that the Nigerian government cannot rent bus for them? Must they be in public transport? Don't know. Because if they were inside bus, nobody can assault them. Of course. Yeah, of course. So you have already made them feel less than they are yeah. by putting them inside the uh, a, a, a public bus. Sure. Come on, do you see Man U or Chelsea or whoever inside? You Public. can't even see them on the road because they will have their private cars. You see, these, these people, whether it's footballers, uh, basketball, uh, whoever they are, once they're representing Nigeria, they should be given that sense of pride. Yes. Yes. True. Same True. Thing. True. Simple. Yes. And the government failed them. That, that is, is why that guy was allowed what to assault What if he had a weapon, Waiki? Huh. Uh, what if he had a weapon? So, uh, so we, so that is like, like we keep sabotaging ourselves. I mean, mm. it's so difficult sometimes being a Nigerian. You know, you work your way to become a star, and yet you're still not giving that back up with, that, as, as a country. Like, we just so come from the country. It. It's quite so, sad. So I, I must agree with Waiki and Miriam. Both sides. I, I think that he assaulted them verbally. He confronted them and provoked area, uh, them, and they were extremely patient with him. If he does it in Oshodi, he said no. He will not go away with it. <laughs> but it happened in Austria. I can be telling them, I will call the police on you. But they should have called the police on him. He assaulted them. He should not have been allowed. And in fact, the least punishment should be that he's taken to a psychiatric home. It can't be normal. That man had the most unpatriotic behavior by attacking. People are already, our government have already insulted. By allowing them, go and I stop a bus for them to go for a match that they are representing the country. We know all the funds that we know. They use as extra codes for, for ministers that mm, are not necessarily needed sister. in China to go and mm. to escort the one that is you needed there, them. to go and get a loan. Okay, so but reporter, we cannot, so we will not sign to me that it's still possible a train. If it's a train, why can't you just to get a private Private buyers. You can no, but you can rent a coach. I don't care whether it was a train, a bus, train. Anything. It's still public transport. You can rent a coach and you, you can, it I, privately. Wait, I, I, I traveled for many years on tour. Mm -hmm. 
Now, at the beginning of our career, they, we used to hire bus uh, train. We used to go inside. We didn't hire. We, we would see us like bush people carrying our load. By the time two, three years into tours, they, 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 we, they stopped it. They hired buses for us. Yes. By, by the time I, I um, retired from dancing, we were the sleeper buses. So we oh. could travel overnight. Comfortable. Thank you. Michael. Comfortable. So me, I know that it can be done. Mm -hmm. Now, our own leaders, you cannot meet our leader on the road because those are, that's who this man should be. Uh, yes, that's they, who they, he should they, be attacking. They, they met the statue governor uh, uh, on the road. Uh, uh, that was uh, the statue so of the former they, governor. Okorocha. They, 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 they met him in the bus one time in the train. No, no, no. no there was a meeting. There was a time when they in Germany, I think. It was at the venue now that they faced him now. But you know, the truth is, it was at the venue they met him. But the truth is, our government people, when they travel, they travel with the privileges they over enjoy. They can afford taxi. But the people that are representing us, the people who, who will sweat out to give us good names, who will finally put our names there in gold, in, 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 at, at, at tournaments and all of that, are the ones we treat the least as, which, as the least important people. We expose them to a lunatic like this who could call them names in a bus and even and so, yes. threaten and insult them and provoke them. If one of them had reacted, it would not be another bad image for yeah, our country. Nigerians are fighting on a bus. I, I'm fighting, but look at the level of provocation. Me, I cannot imagine somebody point camera in my face. He like this, in my country, even if it's abroad, that I will not react. So these people are extremely patient people. And they tried, they did their best. I think they should be commended. I think it, it, the least the government can do now is to so, commend the, the, so the crop of Nigerians. Let's, so let's Lesbos. talk about Nigerians abroad who are genuinely aggrieved about the way things are in Nigeria. They, 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 so this man is coming from a place of hurt. He comes, if things are going yeah. on in Nigeria, he wouldn't have accosted our falcons like this. Like so the they, want, so they, they, they also want something to be able to be done drastically. Now, mm. what can, how can we engage Nigerians abroad in their grievances, what can they do to support, to help? What, 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 what can they do to support our fights here at home to ensure for good governance? Because that's the, that's the root cause of this thing that he did. He really is frustrated about what's happening in Nigeria. That's the bottom First line. of all, you should stop attacking ordinary Nigerians. Yeah, and start looking for government yeah, just people. Just as a when they come. No, <laughs> you, no, no, that's not nice. Ah. Don't look for government people. Because no, they're also. <laughs> no. Since he can't attack them. Why is attacking the government? They're what we are saying exactly. now. The reason that they're on the bus that you saw them, they are just as aggrieved as the rest uh -huh. of Nigerians. But imagine if he used that opportunity to. Um, politely and decently introduce himself and explain to them and even encourage them and say to them this is what we're going through and what, when we watch it we're so upset and we're so angry and I question the youth how do you see it now ask their opinion how do you feel imagine the sort of things that they may tell you what it caused them to even be able to come together oh. because we've had so many stories of how this um, their uniforms athletes, don't come on time yeah uniforms don't come on time sometimes they have to put their money together to pay for where they have to stay on the yeah. government sends money to them yeah. those are the things he would have gotten and then together they would have made something said something and nigerians would have heard even better but here you came and you just insulted people children and then when they said you know nigeria now and you see one thing with nigerian elders when one was trying to talk, he said, shut up, sit down there. Yeah, we fine. always want to be the elder wherever it is. And we don't respect ourselves, but we want respect to be given to us. Mm -hmm. so, someone says here on, on the tube, says, um, maybe they even gave them money to rent, but somebody collected the money. Mm -hmm. can, mm -hmm. you, can you remember mm -hmm. one? We must uh, think the worst mm -hmm. in Nigeria. But it's something that happened, happened so yeah. many no, times. No, Nima, you don't remember one, um, but we took it on this uh, yes, no. table. When they, they, well, I think it was Brazil, the football in Brazil. They even no, no, they, they said that the, the money was on the plane. The money disappeared from the plane, <laughs> plane inside yes. the plane. Yes. I said, look at <laughs> hey, the money don't fly, go inside plane. Come on. They, 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 you know, these officials, mm. they have to stop it. They have to stop these officials. But we would definitely it. like to hear from the, I mean, we, we now have um, the Minister of Youth and Sports. I mean, he's a, he's a young man, and mm. I'm sure he's taking measures to make changes. So we'd like to hear from him and, the, and, and what, what, what is done to protect these people going forward. But right. I, I want us to really look at how these Nigerians are abroad. Because as I said, they are also Nigerians. They are just as frustrated as we are. Mm. And they want to exert their grievances. Just, sometimes they don't know how to. Well, yeah. Some of the most frustrated Nigerians that I think that you know, are, have the right cause to be aggrieved are sports people. We see Arab nations come to tournaments that Nigerians have gone in the past and make and scout our people. The Arab countries don't give visas or stay to any country, except, you know, they need that person. 
It's only for professionals that they need that they will give you certain privileges. Saudi and all of them. Yeah, but you see, when you see Nigerians in their team playing, you know that they've gone to offer them mouth-watering things that our government have ignored them for. You know why those people will go for tournament and not return? It's because of the level mm. of disregard. Ah. The minister for this will say uh, the money is approval, is passing through, and the person is frustrated. Some people buy their own plane tickets to go to countries to represent us. It's our, it's in our stories. This will not be said that they accuse anybody. Ah, did I even tell you the story? I don't know if I sent it to the chat group where the uh, well, the government they wanted to find out why Nigerians are always running away, why we why we don't want to. So they sent a committee of people <laughs> to go. <laughs> <laughs> By the time they got to Australia, by the time they got to Australia, everybody was dropping. The next country, they, it was in China. The chairman of the committee said did not come back. Okay. So they, they are still, the government is still waiting for the report okay. from that committee okay. because okay. all that's, the committee. That's a joke. No, I'm just, I don't know whether it's true or whether it's a. This thing YK is talking. But it's the by the event. No, the committee YK. did not come back. The, the man, the chairman of the committee is in China, right? Now. It's a painful joke that you're sharing, YK. <laughs> Supporters Club, when I was a child, I think US 94, <laughs> we know some of my bros in our area who struggled to be in supporters club, and they used to sing, they wear the shirt. This boss used to work out our estate to me by then. He would be doing all the uh, super eagles, super eagles. This brother, I never see bros since. I have not, he did not come back. <laughs> the last time somebody said he was in this country, he came for his father's bear and he went back. He disappeared on Super Eagles Supporters Club since. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, Nima, when I got to Australia, considered the plenty. People went go, they went to Australia for one Olympics tournament or something. The Olympics, all of them were there. The yeah. Australians are the ones that helped them hide. Hmm. If you ordinary know, South Africa that they raised, you know where there was the one we did with South yes, Africa? No. People didn't come back. Uh, so I have, so I have we a need comment. We to ask ourselves the question, why are Nigerians not staying? And why are we encouraging it? Our government, when you tell a government official, they make excuses. They take offense. Yeah. Yeah. They, they call them more patriotic. But these people, when you see them now, they have genuine uh, grievances. Yes. Why they can't stay? I have here. a Nigerian living abroad. says that the issue of identity is broader than just the accent. It says that we speak our language to, uh, to our children, but sometimes... We are always in a hurry to go to work. Of course, she's full of regrets. She says, um, now we are regretting it, trying to teach them now. So the truth is that when you enter ab abroad, you are trying to hustle two, two three jobs, mm -hmm. trying to get your act together, yeah. trying to settle in a in, in new system, make sure your children have a good education. So you're not there trying to transfer any culture. Now, a lot of maybe these Indians and Chinese, maybe it's the man or the, the breadwinner. One person is doing the chasing, and you are doing the home, nurturing and raising them in your language. So maybe the, the, the reverse should happen in Africa. Where, okay, where the women become nurses? Because usually when you travel abroad with your family, you throw your wife into the nursing system. We are going to learn nursing and become, have money. While you do taxi, maybe you are, you are now, you can, you can be in the house. So maybe the man who is at home should then take on that role of, transferring culture, tradition, language, the way of life to the children. Because we have to, do, and, and I think it's important, we go back to what we had said earlier, what the Nima said. Let us define the African culture, especially when we travel. What is, what is it in Nigeria? When we and go what abroad, is what is it? it? Yes. Let us define it. Let's say the truth. Our parents, we are here today, we can speak. Oh, I, pause, pause, pause. Let me take the Okay, I, want to, I don't want to miss that point. Let me talk about you there. So sorry. Hello? Hello. hello I do apologize. Go ahead, please, from the uh, UK. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, 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 go ahead. Yeah, good morning. I'm good a first-time caller. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for discussing this point. Um, I've, got, I've got two things to say. First of all, it's about our identity that you need to mention. Uh, my, my take on it is the fact that when, when you have parents, there's so many issues around you that you have to look into. For example, I've got my 21-month-old son. I am considering, okay, what school am I going to put him in? Am I going to put him in a state school? Am I going to put him in a... Um, grammar school, am I going to put him in a private school, and which area am I going to go to? Because I want to give him so much opportunities, but at the same time, I don't want to introduce himself. So I'm thinking of myself to say, okay, um, if I put him in a state school or in a government school, and um, we have that opportunity, because many things, in, I'm sure you know in Nigeria as well, many of our parents put our children in private school because we want them to meet so many people and get opportunities, we need to get more opportunities in life. Mm -hmm. So. Those decisions are made. Some people, I'll say, they're making it because they're thinking that, okay, this will give them more opportunities, give their children more opportunities to have better things in life. Some people, maybe they're doing it out of ignorance. And then the second bit that you ladies were um, discussed this morning, I guess, 
women and, and losing their identity. My own take is men need to choose. Do you want women to be African women, whereby they don't work? They stay at home, take care of the family, take care of the children, and then the man will take all the responsibilities in the house. Or do you want a woman to go out to work, but then you then need to share her responsibility as a woman? As, and then you, she, you then share her responsibility as a woman. So you help her in the house. While she's helping you to pay the, um, the rent, she's helping you to pay bills, you also need to share the responsibility of taking care of the children. You can't help you both ways. Right. You can't tell her to be the woman as well as help you to share your responsibility mm. as a man. So men need to decide what they want exactly. and then you go along with them. Thank, Thank you, you very so much, Oh, fantastic. And Thank you, Timmy. I, I, I love the I love point you. she made. Mm. But you see, what, what, the point she raised first concerning the fact that they want to get opportunities for their children. It goes back to the ones, the forebearers, I would call them. The Nigerians that went in the 80s, in the 70s, they didn't go there to build institutions, to start a supermarket um, a, a enterprise. Where one Nigerian, I, I have somebody right now who's a doctor in America, and he's, he's been there for so many years, he's trying to start a hospital, right, to build, he's about to get licensed to get a hospital, so that when Nigerians are coming abroad, they can have somewhere to come and do their oh, residency. Yes. Because he knows how hard it took him to get a spot. So Nigerians before him, the, the, those that went in the 80s, they didn't build, they went there for themselves, me, myself, and my children. So these new Nigerians are coming and they're struggling, trying to see how I can, how do I find my own American dream? But a few that had gone in the 80s, in the 70s, and the 90s, had gone there to build an industry, build an enterprise. The way the Chinese do. The way the Chinese and Indians do. When our people are coming in the 2000s, they are seeing a supermarket strip, well, strip mall owned by Nigerians. They are seeing yeah, the business, businesses owned by Nigerians. Okay, let me start there. Until I wake up my own to start my own. We don't do that. We are so selfish. So it's all of us. So and so if you have been be born, selfish. just like that one you're talking about, my cousin, my cousin yes. abroad built a lab called Butali Lab. And the, opposite, the opportunities he gives, Nigeria, it's really graduates from the university, he finished Unilag, where he finished in Nigeria, is amazing. And he has been awarded for it over and over. I think we, we, what we need to emphasize is that wherever you go, the path that you're taking it, Somebody must not suffer that suffer that you did. Yes. You can always yeah. make it better and greener that's for the other people. Uh, for, for, for formula. For formula. That's what you do. How? That's why there are, the many of them are successful in Texas. So, yes. So you because they're able to replicate that formula. Exactly. Mm. Nigerians in Texas so, are very, are very wealthy. Help, the, help create a community where we help ourselves. Yes. And so you know, if we even if the person because Nigerians are quick to say some Nigerians are difficult to help. I, I put him in my house and he's now you know becoming a burden on me and all of that. You can you know amongst yourself find someone who will talk to you that well, we don't burden ourselves here. We help ourselves. Yeah. So you must be up and doing. Let me tell you, from Calabar. Iben, are you there? Yeah, good morning. You're live. How are you? Go ahead, I'm good. Go ahead, please. Uh, okay, I want to uh, comment on the issue of the guy on the video from yeah, Austria. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Um, I want to kindly ask without any prejudice what he referred to, what he was talking about. Is it true? Is it true? Are we going through those crises in our country? Are we being kidnapped? Are we being killed? Are we being raped? Are we being robbed of justice? Is it you? What he was trying to, to refer to is it you? Because I want to say, if these things are really true, which is true, whether he confronted them with a slap in all we are angry, it doesn't matter. We should rather be commenting on what he raised, the issue he raised, because we have a very terrible issue in our hands. And if you, from my youth, I know that if you oppress a man too much, he becomes inflated and at the end he busts out. And when he busts out, he's not always pleasant. So we should not attack the guy for saying it the way he says. He may have been wrong, that is it. He is wrong in the way he presented yeah, it. But we have an issue in our hands. Even let me stay with you. Even let me stay with you. There's something Nima always talks about that. We shouldn't always go through the self-help avenue. So in this situation, he, are the Falcons the right people to express his vent grievances, on, to vent on? I make a video. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And yeah, yeah. I will, uh, no, I will say yes. You know what? Okay. Because he saw the Falcons. The politicians who have done this work are out of his reach. They drive in flashy cars abroad from one hotel room to the other, and to their residences and bought from our resources. So the people should take the message down to change the thing, if you and I. Now, let's face the truth. If all Nigerians, 
things they speak and say we want a change. We demand these things to stop. The politicians will not be able to do otherwise. They can't withstand us because we are more than them. But we are all afraid because we have one thing or the other at stake. We have our jobs, we don't want to lose it, so we play the hypocrite. We play a lot of hypocrisy. We have political appointments we don't want to lose. We have our businesses, we don't okay. want the government to come up with certain laws to you know, clamp down on us. So right. everybody just keeps new. Right. I don't think concerned uh, in this video. Been... Message lost. Yes. So I don't I, I really do not believe that many Nigerians are quiet. I mean, we have protests and arrests of protesters to show for it. Nigerians are speaking. Yes, maybe not as many as we would like. But we're talking about this particular group of people. They were doing something good. They were doing something for our collective was it that that feeling pride. of just yeah of pride these are the, these sorts of events athletes usually help us remind us about our unity okay. and so to put them and vent on them and embarrass and insult them it was uncalled for That's and right. as, as you said message lost because these are the people that honestly represent the everyday um, Nigeria, the man on the street. If you were talking to government officials, because they do travel, if he was talking, or if he was on his phone, putting the camera up to his, his face, face and speaking and venting about the and things, the ills yes. of our country and how it affects him and affects all of us, mm -hmm. I think that message would have been more powerful than what he did there. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Maria, mm. what, where Ibe is coming from, she's mm. talking from, her own frustration. Yeah, okay. She's asking the things he was asking. Now, he, if he had put the camera on his face mm -hmm. and vented, mm -hmm. would the video have gone viral? Probably. It would not. I can assure you because many people have done it mm -hmm. and it didn't go viral. It went viral because it was the Falcons. Now, um, what he did, was, I, I don't agree with what he did, mm -hmm. but she's talking from her own frustration that these things are happening. Mm -hmm. There is insecurity. There is this. There is that. Right. So why can't you? Let me take this, Kenneth. Let me take Kenneth. <clears throat> Kenneth has been holding for most ready. Good morning, Kenneth. Are you there? Good morning, ma'am. You're alive. Go ahead, please. Okay. How are you? I, I thank you for what people are doing. Yes. Sir. I just want to make my own contribution. Yes, sir. You see, the issue we are having. I thank the last caller, you know, who made the call, telling you exactly what happened. Now, but people are trying to disagree with him. Uh, ha, sorry. Because uh, the man spoke to the women. The women should learn to take responsibility. It's not every time, if that man spoke to the men food, everybody will be happy. Mm -hmm. But now the man spoke to the women food, they can take this message back to Nigeria. This is how our people are feeling abroad. They are not happy with what is happening in our system. Because women have always want to measure up. But most of the time, they don't want to take the responsibility that the man wants to do. So these are the problems. Now, the, the, uh, the women food are not happy. The Falcons were the ones this message was Okay, great. To. Ken, let me, let me be sure I understand you. We are, you are yes. turning a conversation about a man who, was, who had accosted the Falcons to a gender issue. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand where that's coming from. This has nothing to do with man or woman. This is the fact that a citizen who lives abroad some fellow citizens who are representing us, you and I in Nigeria, are, they, are, they, are, they are trying to do their thing as athletes. And you're now, when it's not a gender issue, I, I, please help me understand. Is that what you're saying? No, no, what I'm saying, you know, I've been following the, I've been following, I've been following the program since you've been talking. I've been trying to get across okay. from, you know, women, men, the living abroad and all the problems they're having. Okay, so that there. one is a different, okay. Okay, okay. all right, no problem. Th th okay. okay. Go ahead. On issue, do you understand? Yeah. And uh, people are not happy, or you, the, your guests are not happy, they are talking to the Falcon. You understand me now? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so, they are not happy. Okay, we have to run anyway. We have, let's take a few messages. I think I, maybe he's mixing up So this the, is what uh, I wanted to say to um, Iben when she called, that this man, somebody posted a tweet where YK was tagged, and, and it um, was, if you believe that you're truly, YouTube. Yeah, sorry, if you believe that you're true, you, we can truly call you patriotic, they are do Okay. The only people that we can truly call patriotic are those who hold passports or citizenships of other countries but choose to remain Nigeria despite re remaining in Nigeria despite experiencing extreme difficulties. If you don't get choice, what do you go do? 
This man already has a choice. But you see this young Nigerian who must have gone through even worse things that he, he left this country for, struggling to represent the country, and you wanted to pass a message to government, and you think it's to accost them and embarrass them that will pass this message. I think it's message loss, wrong method used. So if you find another method, even if you don't want to put your face, find another thing to make it trend, but don't frustrate Nigerians further, because you too, you'll be terrorists. You just terrorize these people. You, in a public bus, put a camera on them, and you see some of the people, in Nigerians, in their, in their, trying to hide their face yeah. in the hardship that they have been through. And that is what I don't Don't tell me like... your problem is bigger than my problem. All of us in Nigeria will get the same problem. So we know that we are suffering banditry, kidnapping. A lot of us are We're living here, here struggling, <laughs> bad roads, you know, and speaking up against these things every day. Every single day. Can yeah. I take some Put our yes, kids yes. through it. And then just to add, uh, YK, you know, where YK was saying something did, about he that. may not have trended if he had not done it the way that he did. And that's what I do not like about social media, where you take advantage of people just so that you can trend. trend. does not make sense. Yes. It's wrong. Yes. yes. PJ Comedian has found us on YouTube. Hey. That guy just leveraged on the Falcons so his message can go far. Yeah. If he saw a politician in, in that train, he would have done the same. He, he just used what he had to get what he wanted. Billy Kiss, um, sorry, let me, um, I, there was another one I saw. Uh, he says he hid his face because the politicians will come after right. his life. That's Chinaza um, Henry. Right, right. And, um, Mm. We have to wrap up on this, but I think um, so. Today we've talked with we've talked Ramsey. <laughs> there are many tubes. Like I, this one says, uh, uh, point of correction: the Falcons team is not representing me. Teresa Chikanele says, play the clip in full. He also said, Buhari is a terrorist, which. Oh, my dear. Right. Oh, my we have to run here. This man is an irresponsible man. Even if you don't support this administration, they won't be in government forever. Who is happy with the state of economy right now? This country is blessed, and we have just been unlucky with our leaders. Um, you see, I think the, the, the insurrection that happened um, earlier this year in the U.S. Was, was quite illuminating for some of us to say, like, like everybody can go mad. Not just the... And every country has, every its country has own issues. Mm -hmm. Both us, the white man, the black man, we all have that coin coin that can, that can trigger anything. But at the end of the day, that's why there's a government. That's why there's something called democracy. There's a system. Yes, we're angry. We'll keep talking. But we can't harm ourselves because we want to. So yes, we want to protest. We want to, we want to do this. But that's why, that, that's why we condemn the fact that there was a protest we, which was legal, but then hoodlums took advantage to turn that around. So we're saying, yes, we want to legally protest. Mm -hmm. But don't take advantage of burning houses, burning businesses. That is not that. That is not. But there's a school of thought, yes. uh, Mariah, yeah. that says the hoodlums that took over were actually sent by government people uh -huh. to disrupt. That's another school of thought. But it happened there's in, a school in of South thought Africa, like 100 malls. 400 children, they, they, they had them um, Walmarts. Mm -hmm. I saw the, I saw the, 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 the statistics. Uh, oh. I, 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 100 malls. I, I saw so these are there. Africans. So, some, the, so the, the, was it politicians that sent you to them blow up 100, 100 malls? It's wrong. So as we are getting angry at ourselves, let's not harm each other. Mm. Let's vent well, well, to right, right in the right corner. We're not getting angry at ourselves. We're getting angry at, or they are getting angry at the authority, authoritative, uh, the, the authorities, yeah. Shah, mm -hmm. in short. Yeah. It's we have so, to run. But they now no. vent it in the wrong Don't place. Have anyone, it's very brief. You say, if it if it says you talked about living in abroad, but what about children in Lagos and Ibadan, Oshogo and the rest? You will call and they'll be telling you. That's all we can take on the show. Unfortunately, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>